Hello everybody. Today I want to show you my power crop. I had a lot of fun working on this project. Since my chain blades are quite complex to build with all the electronics, I wanted to make a model that would be fully printed and be able to be scalable. You can even print 50% scale for your baby boys. If this project is popular, I will do more projects like this since they are easier to implement. I want to start with the print settings. As usual, I tried to make everything as simple as possible in printing and without supports. There are also parts divided into parts for printing on small printers. I recommend printing all parts with a layer thickness of 0.2 mm, two walls, infill of at least 10%. Bolts and trigger with a layer thickness of 0.2 mm, three walls, infill of at least 20%. When printing bolts, pay attention that the seam is located inside the groove. All parts are already oriented correctly for printing and do not require supports. Let's get to assembly. I will consider the assembly using the example of separated parts for small printers. In this case, we will need to glue several parts. If you have a large printer and you printed solid parts, you will not even need glue. First, try on the parts without glue to make sure that everything is assembled correctly. Apply glue to half of the main body part 1. Then install the main body part 2 into the grooves. I use super glue, so you do not have to wait long. Apply glue to the second half of the main body part 1 and also to the edges of the main body part 2, and insert the main body part 3 from above. Press all areas where glue is applied. Take the claw parts, try them on to each other. They should fit well and fit the shape of the surface to each other. Apply glue to the surface of the lower part, and glue the upper part to it. Repeat the same with the second claw. Connect the trigger to the rail with a B2 bolt. You can use a DACA wrench for convenience, but do not tighten the bolt too much. The plastic parts may not hold. The edge of the trigger should be flush with the edge of the rail. Insert the trigger into the front body. Make sure that the ledge on the rail is opposite the ledge on the front body like mine. If not, you can change the rail or insert the trigger from the other side. Screw the second rail to the trigger with a B2 bolt. If you do not want to use a steel spring, you can skip the next step. If you want to use a steel spring, you will need 4 screws M4 by 20mm or 16mm, 4 nuts M4 and 2 springs. The link to the spring will be in the description of the video. Insert the nuts M4 into the grooves and screw the springs to them. Install the middle claw into the body and insert the shaft. There is a groove on the shaft and claw, they need to be aligned. Put the gear on the shaft and tighten it with bolt B5. Screw the gear to the claw with 3 bolts B2. Align the gears along the mark, and screw the claw with bolt B3. As a tensioner, in addition to metal springs, you can use rubber bands.
and my favorite, printed springs. In this case, the claw will be 100% printed parts. Attach the front body to the main body. Check that the middle claw is opposite one hydraulic bracket. On the side of one hydraulic, screw in the B1 bolts. On the side of two hydraulics, screw in the housing with the B4 bolts. Screw in the outer panels with the B2 bolts. Screw the bracket to the piston, insert the piston into the cylinder and position it in the seats. Screw in both sides of the hydraulics with the B4 bolts. Repeat the steps for the second cylinder. Screw the piston to the central claw bracket. Insert the piston into the cylinder and place it in the seats. Screw the claw bracket with B2 screws on both sides. Do not tighten too much, the bracket should rotate freely. Screw the cylinder with B4 screw. There is a hole on the side wall for attaching a hose. I used a hose for draining the washing machine. If you do not want to use a hose, you can install a plug instead. Insert the holders into the slots. After that, insert the locking plug. Screw in the magnet. This nut allows you to fix the hand in the center of the claw. That's it, the claw is ready. I want to announce a contest for a claw from this video. Contest rules. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment under this video sharing your thoughts about my work and whether I should create more projects like this one. The winner will be chosen randomly on January 26th. All the links you might need will be provided in the video description. STL files and physical copies are available for purchase on my website. Shall we run retribution?